Welcome back. We've got another case from LKCI, manufactured by Tsosh. This one's for the 1911 fans. We'll take a look coming up next on GB Guns. Today we'll be taking a look at the PC45 in stainless from LKCI and Tsosh. Comes in a hard lockable case as we've come to expect from them that makes use of both sides of the case so up top here we have a cutout you could use for putting another mag in you've got some spots here if you wanted to offload your defensive rounds say you're using this as a range box um, so then you can load your ball ammo have your range time come back pick up your defensive rounds put them back in the mag we've got a soft brush with the rubber tip to prevent from scoring up your gun. We've got a plastic cleaning rod down here below. The manual, and the manual in some of them is actually underneath the foam. So if you get one and you're wondering where your manual is, take a look under there. We've got nice large font, easy to read. Traditional three color format with the black, red, and white. And some computer graphic images of things which is just fine describes the basic it's nice and cleanly done we also have one of these nice rags that comes with the gun and two magazines one in the gun and one spare look at that guy let's get the packaging out of the way and take a closer look at the gun so some of you may recall the TSOSH 1911s that uh, we had on the channel back when Zenith was importing them. These are indeed by the same manufacturer, but the quality seems to be a little nicer. We've got two Mechgar magazines with the witness windows on the sides where they should be, both sides. Anti-tilt follower, nice magazines. We'll check for clear. It's clear and let's take a look around the gun So coming up front, we've got the nice contrasting bushing and spring to the Stainless color of the slide and frame like that a little bit of side-to-side -side play Slightly rounded front sight I love the uh, front serrations for doing the press checks We've got a rail space, three slots. Smooth trigger guard and smooth front strap. You can see we've got markings on the slide, but in a tasteful, respectful way. Not one of those giant billboards. Coming down underneath, we don't have any flaring, just a traditional flat bottom. And the grips are plastic but stylized and unique. And of course, one of my favorite things about 1911s is the millions and millions of different grip options you have out there. Extended safety is ambidextrous. Of course, mag release, everything is classic 1911. Do have the extended safety and beaver tail. You can see it fits nicely up to that skeletonized hammer. And our mainspring housing has some serrations on it. As far as trigger, take up, break, it's not bad. I mean, it's a 1911. Release, quick, short recess, reset, and breaks again. And uh, unfortunately, I had to take it down, but I did have a video up on how to do a trigger job on these 1911s. It's actually pretty easy, and about a year or two ago, I took uh, a model from TSOS just like this that was very finely made and uh, dropped in an aftermarket trigger setup and made a really nice gun. So coming around the right side, it's classic clean 1911. Looks like the ejection port's been opened a little bit. We do have the Novak style sights, three dot, good and clean. And once again, 
Let's so get the angle on there right. That dovetail is put in near perfectly. Excellent attention to detail in the construction of this. Next up, we'll field strip it and take a look inside the gun. So field stripping the 1911 is a rather classic procedure. Always easiest with the hammer back first, checking for clear. We've got this cut out here that's gotta be moved over to the edge of your slide release, slide stop. To hold there, pretty easy if you put your finger on the front end of the slide and your thumb here, then you can just grip. And we're gonna push on the other side of that pin. It comes out and your slide comes off the frame. You want to be careful since the uh, recoil spring is under pressure, you can end up shooting your guide rod across the room, uh, which is exactly what just happened. Fortunately, it's a small room. <laughs> There's the guide rod. Now we can knock that back, rotate our bushing to the spot where it disengages. It's usually this direction, but it doesn't seem to want to come out. Let me do some fidgeting with that. All right, so we're back. So rotating the bushing to the side to allow our little spring capture piece to come out. Now bringing this back around to about that position. And now the bushing can come out. There's that lug that we were trying to get out of the way. Set that forward and your barrel comes out the front. All right, now let's take a look at this slide. It's an 80 series, it's got the drop safety in it. The machining looks fairly clean. Not bad at all. In our frame, see that feed ramp had some work to it prior to the Cerakoting. Nice clean construction. Classic 1911. Here's our barrel with a bit of a polish there. So everything is as we expect from a 1911 and a T-Sosh 1911 at that. If you don't recall my experiences with the uh, older ones being imported that were imported by Zenith, you can run back and take a look at those. They were excellent guns. Our testing has gotten a little bit better since then. So I think uh, this is going to be a fun one. I'll get it out to the range and of course do the uh, what's for dinner test, run it through some modern rounds, both defensive and uh, non, and do our full magazine plus one test and our um, five shots from seven yards for accuracy, and then uh, let you know what we think. I think it's a great looking gun so far. I've got some Good feelings about it. Love to hear what your thoughts are on this. Um, especially you 1911 addicts out there. I know that the 1911 crowd is pretty hardcore. I'd say probably more hardcore than the Glock folks. And probably with good reason. I don't know. I don't want to start any fights. But uh, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'm going to have to wrestle this back together. Uh, that spring's rather stiff. So we'll get back together and out to the range. Thanks for watching.